Giving your child a smartphone may seem like a good way to keep them safe, but new research suggests it may be putting them at a greater risk bullying. Pupils aged between 8 and 11 were questioned about their experiences owning a mobile device. Experts found that the younger the user, the more at risk they were of being bullied, and that phone users across all age groups were more likely to pick on others. New research suggests giving your child a mobile device may be putting them at a greater risk of cyberbullying. Experts found that the younger the user, the more at risk they were of being bullied, and that phone users across all age groups were more likely to pick on others, stock across all three grades, 49.6% of students reported owning a smartphone. The older the student, the more likely they were to own a phone. This included 59.8% of 5th graders, 50.6% of 4th graders, and 39.5% of 3rd graders. Phone owners in grades 3 and 4 were more likely to report being a victim of cyberbullying. Across all three grades, more phone owners admitted they have been a cyberbully themselves researchers at Bridgewater State University in Massachusetts surveyed 4,584 children between the third and fifth grades over a two-year time period between 2014 and 2016. Most previous research on cyberbullying has focused on adolescents. Overall, 9.5% of children reported being a victim of cyberbullying. Children who owned smartphones were significantly more likely to report being targeted, with incidences rising in the youngest age brackets. Experts believe the increase is down to greater opportunity and increased vulnerability. Continuous access to social media and texting increases online interactions and provides children more opportunities to engage both positively and negatively with their peers. It also increases the chance of an impulsively over-the-top response to a schoolmate's posts and messages. Dr. Elizabeth Englander, a professor of psychology at the university, said, parents often cite the benefits of giving their child a cell phone. But our research suggests that giving young children these devices may have unforeseen risks as well. At the very least, parents can engage in discussions and education with their child about the responsibilities inherent in owning a mobile device and the general rules for communicating in the social sphere. Across all three grades, 49.6% of students reported owning a smartphone. The older the student, the more likely they were to own a phone. This included 59.8% of fifth graders, 50.6% of fourth graders, and 39.5% of third graders. Phone owners in grades 3 and 4 were more likely to report being a victim of cyberbullying. Across all three grades, more phone owners admitted they have been a cyberbully themselves. How much time should your child be spending online? 1. For children younger than 24 months, avoid any digital media use with the exception of video chatting too. For children 18 to 24 months of age, you can introduce digital media, but use it together with your child and avoid allowing the child to consume it alone 3. For children 2 to 5 years old, limit screen time to 1 hour per day of high-quality programming. Watch with your children and help them understand what they are seeing how to apply it for. No screen time 1 hour before bedtime 5. Avoid using screen time as the only method to soothe the child, the concern is that the child might not develop the ability to regulate emotion on their own. 6. Avoid fast-paced programs or apps with distracting or violent content. 7. Monitor children's media content. Test apps before using them and ask the child what he or she thinks about the app. 8. Bedrooms, mealtimes and playtimes with parents should be screen-free for both parents and child. 9. See recommended hours of sleep and physical activity for your child with this 24-hour calculator. Point 1. Develop and be consistent in following family guidelines for media use, assess the types of media and how much is being consumed and what is appropriate for the child too. Place consistent limits on hours or type of media that can be used per day promote one hour of daily physical activity and 8 to 12 hours of sleep, depending on age 3. Try to not let children sleep with TVs, computers and smartphones in their bedrooms 4. Avoid media use in the hour leading up to bedtime 5. Have media-free times, like during family dinner, or create media-free areas at home 6. Relay these guidelines to babysitters or other caregivers 7. Have ongoing conversations with the child about online safety, whether it's about cyberbullying, sexting, solicitations or compromising privacy 8. Have a network of trusted adults who will engage with the child through social media 